What can reading blood work the way I've taught you do for you in your practice? Well, here's what Hillary has to say days after attending the Master Bloodwork Live event. Quote, I have had three patients now and one's coming in next week to read their blood work. I charge $4.25. I work up the protocols and my patients are so happy with the supplements and service. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is a game changer. Just wanted to send you a positive, happy note to make your day. This is just the tip of the iceberg, I feel. Hillary is not the only one. Connie introduced the same blood work reading for her current patients. And within days of introducing the new service, she was booked out two months. Danny jumped on a YouTube channel with another person. And within hours of that YouTube video going live, she had over 80 people reach out. And within the next week, I believe she said it was up to 150. Margaret has recently doubled her prices, so she's not resenting it anymore. These are just a few examples. What can it do for you? Come see what it's all about at my next live and free workshop, August 30th. Get all the details at drkileyburton.com slash free dash workshop. And that workshop is just for you practitioners. This podcast is sponsored by my favorite supplement companies, Systemic Formulas and MyBiome. Come join me inside their private Facebook group for practitioners called Systemic Formulas Clinical Nutrition. All right, let's get started so you can have more freedom, more impact, and more income. Here we go. Welcome to the Beyond the Diagnosis podcast with me, Dr. Kylie. We are in season five, which means every Tuesday episode, is an episode that you are familiar with and love. And every Thursday episode, which this is, is all about practitioners. I'm here to help you, my fellow colleagues. And inside this episode, you're about to hear something I've never told before. Because I wanna take you back to my chapter one. So many of you see my chapter 22 right now. And you think that it's gonna happen for you like that. Well, it didn't happen for me like that either. So take, let me take you back to chapter one of my journey with these live workshops. Okay, this is in 2018. I started my practice January 3rd of 2018. I graduated in March of 2017. So yeah, I'm new to the game, but I have put at least $750,000 in coaching in the last four years. I remember meeting a fellow colleague and him telling me that he'd spent 500,000 in the last 20 years. And I remember thinking, holy crap, that's a huge number. (laughs) And I've surpassed it in four years. And that's not including babysitting for my kids over the last four and a half years. And that's not including the four years in which I worked for free. So I could take that money and put it into building this practice and building who I am and how I do things and getting the best coaching in the entire world. So that's my chapter one versus my chapter 22. I've put a lot into this. Okay. Now people will always say, well, I've been doing this for 40 years. I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been doing this for five years. What's the difference? Do you have 40 years of experience or do you have one year of experience 40 times? Let me say that again. Do you have 25 years of experience or do you have one year of experience 25 times? Think about it. I've only been in this for not even five years. It's July, 2022. I started January 3rd of 2018. I've packed a ton into four and a half years. Now, not only have I paid for a lot of coaching, I've paid for a lot of help. I am fearless. And if there's anything I could teach you today, you're going to have fears. Go past them. So let's talk about the chapter one of my live workshops. Okay. So if you've been around me or if you're just new to me, I highly, highly, highly recommend live workshops. I don't recommend webinars unless you're going to spend thousands of dollars on sending traffic to them per month. Don't do it. Host a live workshop. 
Now this live workshop can be virtual, Zoom, just like this, or back in 2018 when nobody knew what Zoom was, I rented out hotel conference rooms. Just little conference rooms are like 75 bucks an hour. And I did this in a couple of different locations throughout Utah. Um, I had a little tiny, tiny, tiny brick and mortar practice. It was basically the reception area and then my office. Two rooms that were like 800 square feet total in rural Utah, which is like five miles from systemic formulas that I had no clue even existed. Okay. And I grew up here, guys. I grew up from my, I mean, I'm sitting in my brother's old room. That's what now my office. <laughs> Long story. But um, things just happen and that's where I'm supposed to be. So here I am. So back in 2018, I'm renting out these rooms. I remember the very first workshop I ever hosted. I had probably 25 people attend. This was at a hotel in Ogden, Utah, just right off the freeway. So it was really easily accessible. Um, again, five miles north of Systemic Formulas uh, company that I, again, had no clue even existed. But I didn't spend any ads or anything on this. It was literally just me getting out word of mouth. Basically, family and friends, people from my church um, came to this evening workshop that I did live. Now, it was Kelly and I at the time. Um, Kelly's still my, my full-time assistant and rock star team member. And we did this presentation on hormones. And it was all about libido. Okay. Now, I went into this presentation. I had my whole thing planned out. I met Greg Mojan like two weeks beforehand, who's also in this group and a very close colleague and friend. And he was like, no, scratch the whole thing. That's not how you're supposed to be doing this. Cause I had in my mind education. I had like a um, little a piece of paper that had a list of symptoms that was estrogen dominant, progesterone dominant, like, you know, the things, right? And he's like, no, what drives people to make decisions is emotion. So it was like 48 hours before we flipped the entire thing and we made it about, yes, we taught a lot. I taught, I love to teach. Teaching is marketing. Education is marketing. But then I had Kelly tell her story because I didn't have a story. I don't have a health transformation story. Kelly does. So I had Kelly tell her story. And then at the end, I was so brave. I had never done this before. <clears throat> In fact, talking about money, um, I hated it. I would get like spider feeling all the way up my arms and just any, it doesn't matter if it was $1, $100, $10,000. It didn't matter what the number was. I didn't like talking about money. It wasn't comfort. I was not confident. I was not comfortable with it. And most importantly, I did not want to hear a no on the other side. So at the time I was doing um, initial consultations, not lab stuff yet, but I was doing initial consultations where we go over the health history. We go over the labs that you already, that they had and see if we needed more. Most of the time, most of the time I would run more. And this was a one and a half hour consultation that included the report of findings, which was an hour and a half. So basically three hours of one-on-one -on -one time with like another two hours of my time outside of the appointment. You want to know what I charge for? $195. But it gets even better. At that workshop, I told them that if they booked it before they left, which is a must do if you're going to have a successful event, they booked it before they left. I would give it to them for $50 off. So I spent all this time for $145. Holy smokes. Again, this is my chapter one. I probably had over 50%, if not higher, convert in that workshop. Okay, so I'm doing great. The first workshop was a success. So we book another one. This one's in Cache Valley, which is the northern point of Utah. It's like an hour, hour and a half drive from my house where I live. And where the clinic was. But again, I had this idea of somehow I've got to be able to break free of my location and expand because my location is not great for the type of business I'm doing. Functional medicine in Utah is, is really difficult to thrive. It's coming around. So wherever you are, 
break free of it. I promise you, the world is open, especially since March 13th of 2020. Holy smokes, the world knows Zoom now. Before then, they didn't. So I throw a couple hundred dollars in, in a Facebook ad, get people to sign up for this workshop that's an hour and a half away from me, all about, again, hormones. I think I had four or five patients come from that. So this is how I'm building my clientele. I'm hosting these workshops. I'm going from hotel conference room to hotel conference room, hosting one, about one a month. Then I get this idea, you know what? Let's go to Salt Lake. Let's host one in Salt Lake. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna tell you that the one in Cache Valley and the one in Salt Lake, I bombed it. I chickened out when it came to the pitch. I invited them to become a new patient, but I did not require them to register before they walked out of the room. Bad mistake. I froze. I had someone in the room that I didn't want to hear to talk money with, I didn't, and you know, there was just so many, I just wasn't good. I wasn't comfortable at it at the moment. The first one was a big hit. And then number two and three, I literally bombed. And there were only like 10 to 15 people in each room, but that was how I was building my practice. Didn't go well. So if you're going to do it, pitch it and pitch it confidently. Practice, you're gonna fail. I have failed numerous times. More importantly, or the biggest fail came when I drove five and a half hours to St. George, Utah, which is Southern Utah. I held a conference or a workshop on a Friday night because that was when I could get down there. It was over the weekend. Don't hold conferences or workshops on Friday night. That was mistake number one. Mistake number two was... I don't know what happened, but it just went, everything went wrong. We had one person walk through the door, one. And she wasn't even there for herself. She was there for her daughter who lived in another state and had infertility struggles. In fact, I remember this poor girl, 24 years old. She's been through IVF three times, $75,000 to Chin like that. Trying so desperately to have her own baby. And at that point where the mom walked in the door, she had just miscarried at like six or eight weeks. So here I am, I have this whole spiel about hormones to give it to one person in the room. Oh my gosh, it was so embarrassing. I cannot tell you how embarrassing it was to have one person show up to a live workshop in which I drove, spent the whole weekend set aside for it. <sighs> Fast forward, 2019 happens. Um, I got in with a gym, a local gym who hosted, it was a ladies only gym. Um, I was actually working with the owner as a patient. Um, she had restless leg syndrome and she invited me to come host a couple workshops at her gym. Cool, great. I don't have to pay for rent or, or pay for the room fees. Um, and then she was going to do a lot of marketing around the gym, right? Host flyers and things like that. The first one, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. Two people showed up. Okay, I brushed it off to, you know, it's July. It's the middle of the summer. So maybe let's do one in September. <laughs> One person showed up. You guys, I'm going on two years of multiple live workshops at this point, all of 2018, all of 2019. Besides these live workshops, I'm doing lives on Facebook. Facebook was the thing that I just decided I was going to start with because that was most familiar to me. It was the only social media platform I had been on personally. So I felt like I knew it quite well. And I felt like that's where my avatar was. Okay, TikTok didn't exist. At least it didn't exist in my world at this point. I don't know what existed, yet, but anyways. Instagram, everybody time, someone told me to get on Instagram. I make some excuse. Um, my husband told me nine million times to start a podcast. I make a million excuses. <laughs> don't make excuses either. That stopped progression. Take action. Action creates momentum. 
If you're hitting a stall point wherever you are in your practice, take action. You want to know what's blown up my practice the last two years? Well, one COVID, but two labs, and three, I am not afraid to take action. I will have an idea on a Thursday. I will pitch it on a live workshop on a Monday, and we will have the event the next week. Take action. Action creates momentum. Okay, that's the beginning chapters of beginning chapter one, chapter two, 2018, 2019 in my live workshop journey. Then COVID happens and the world opens up. I was already virtual at this point because I had gotten sick with my daughter. I was pregnant, pregnant with her, um, got sick with her in the fall of 2019. So I bagged the uh, brick and mortar practice and we went virtual. I only had a few people brick and mortar anyway, so it was really not hard to just tell them I wasn't going to be, I wasn't having an office space anymore, but I would love to work with them still over Zoom. <clears throat> um, I ended up referring two out of the three out. One stick, one stuck with me, but the other two wanted to do the brick and mortar thing until six months later, COVID happened. And then it just... <sighs> But the first time I held a virtual workshop, there I've learned so many ways on how to make this successful and how to avoid failing it, okay? But I'm gonna tell you again, the first four, five, six months, nobody attended. I would jump on a Zoom feed. I dreaded them because I was like, okay, well, where are the participants coming in at? Here's two of them. Okay, we got three. Oh, one just left. <laughs> so stick with it. The point of me telling you these stories is one for you to see where I was versus where I am. And the fact that I persevered, I stuck with it. I continued to do all the things to do the Facebook. Then I started an Instagram and I started my, actually I started my podcast first and then I jumped over to Instagram and TikTok in the last 10 months. I don't run ads to my workshops at this point in time. That's going to change in this next go around because I've locked in my skill set. I am freaking good at these workshops. And if you've ever been on one with me, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, but it didn't transform overnight. In fact, the best way I learned how to host a workshop, I got on other people's workshops, not other colleagues, people, who, marketing experts, business experts, consultants. Again, I'm telling you guys, I paid over $750,000 for consultants, for help, for people helping me to build my business, whether it be the website or the funnels or whatever the heck it is. The most important money I've ever spent is mindset coaching. Again, I hated talking about money. Gave me chills up my spine. I didn't want to talk about a dollar. I didn't want to talk about $5,000. I didn't want to talk about $10,000 or even $100,000. I don't want to talk about money, period. It's all changed. And now I love to talk about money because money means opportunities to change your life. Mindset coaching. <clears throat> That's why it's a requirement in my 90-day program. That's why we're going to hit it even harder in the new and upgraded mastermind. And I brought in some of the best experts. In fact, Nicole Mitchell is going to be joining me inside the mastermind. But keep it a secret because I haven't told much about it yet. This girl's brilliant when it comes to sales, money, and mindset. Brilliant. Okay. Like I said, I work with the best in the world. I'm going to bring the best in the world to you guys. The 90-day program is where you start. You can't get in the mastermind until you do the 90-day program. I got to make sure that foundation is strong. All right. Now I can talk about money in my live workshops. And now I have 50 people come on all from just regular email list, Facebook, Instagram, somewhat on TikTok. I kind of bagged TikTok 
the last few months just because I ran out of energy, don't have any drive to going back on it, really pushing hard on social media period at the moment. Um, but I just want you guys to know that that was my chapter one. It took me two years of failure after failure after failure of hosting those live in-person events to where I'm going now on Zoom. Again, the first few times I ran it on Zoom, it was two, three people, maybe even one person showed up. But then I took that recording from the Zoom feed, I posted it on YouTube channel, and then I invited people to watch the secret replay link. Then it turned into 50 views, 70 views, 100 views, 120 views. Next thing I know, I've got people paying me $500 without even me talking to them to read their labs and read their blood work. But people didn't join me live. I would go live during lunch hour. I refuse to give up my evenings now. My evenings are for my kids and my family. I went live during, it was noon Mountain Standard Time, which would have been 2 p.m. Eastern and 11 a.m. Pacific. So trying to do that in that hour block when people could join me on their lunch break if they felt, if they so choose. So do the things, record it, go live, record it, practice, run it again and next week, run it again in next month, do it over and over and over again. So you are so confident in it and you are so confident in your ability to pitch. When I say pitch, I'm talking Invite them into the next opportunity to change their life. If they say no, that's okay. They're not valuing their help enough yet. It's not because your pricing is wrong. Maybe you stumbled with the pitch. And when I say stumbled, the hardest person is to, to sell is yourself. If you are not confident in that opportunity, the cells will fail. You must be confident. I know what my opportunities produce for people. I am so confident in them and the number I attach with them. Now, when it comes to numbers, let me give you a secret here. The first secret, pick a number that rolls off your tongue, the price tag I'm talking about. It must be instilled in you that that's the value of it. Number two, say the number quickly, something like this, 6,000 bucks versus $6,997, which sounds less expensive, or say 54.50 versus $5,450, which sounds less expensive. Here's another tip: package everything up. Do not sell individual pieces or have all the cart items. They only see cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. People want them to, that people want you to help them get better. Give them everything they need to accomplish that result. And then put a price tag on that everything that they need. Price it at the result. Chapter one versus chapter 22. $750,000 later. Four and a half years of trial and error. Four and a half years of, I don't care, I'm doing it anyways. Push fear aside and go for it. Action creates momentum. Without action, you have no momentum. You need some help? Come join the 90-day program. You can find the details at the next round at drkylieburton.com. All right, you have more tools now. Go out and change the world. Make your impact, make your mark, and let's change lives together. This podcast is sponsored by my favorite supplement company, Systemic Formulas and MyBiome. If you're not using them in your practice, you should be. Come join me inside their private Facebook group for practitioners called Systemic Formulas Clinical Nutrition. 
I'll see you in the Facebook group and I'll see you on the next live and free workshop, August 30th. I'm here to help, Dr. Kylie.